गुड मॉर्निंग हाय डॉक्टर सागर कुमार इस बढ़िए वेलकम यू टू द फर्स्ट क्लास ऑफ थ्योरी ऑफ कंप्यूटेशन द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ स्टडीइंग थ्योरी ऑफ कंप्यूटेशंस आर एनालॉगस टू दोस ऑफ स्टडीइंग फिजिक्स एज फिजिक्स हेल्प्स टू एक्सप्लेन द पॉसिबिलिटीज एंड लिमिटेशंस ऑफ द फिजिकल वर्ल्ड वी लिव इन थ्योरी ऑफ कंप्यूटेशन हेल्प्स टू एक्सप्लेन द पॉसिबिलिटीज एंड लिमिटेशंस ऑफ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम एज इंजीनियरिंग ऑफ फिजिकल सिस्टम मस्ट कंसल्ट फिजिक्स for the needed scientific principles thus the engineering of computing and information systems must consult the theory of computation before the invention of the physical computer systems mathematicians had spent several years trying to develop a model that can represents a problem to be solvable that is there exist a step by step procedure to solve these problems nowadays such procedures are called as programs or algorithms that can be executed at a high speed by modern computer systems the problems that are solvable by these algorithms are called to be solvable decidable or computable or recursive theory of computation is the theoretical branch of computer science and mathematics that deals with the logic of computation with respect to the simple machines called automata automata help us to understand how machine compute the functions and problems it provides a method to describe dynamic behavior of discrete systems automata is a greek word derived from automatic and machine which gives an illusion to the user that something is doing something on its own for example a calculator when you give input to a calculator calculator produces the output and it gives a illusion to the user that the calculator is performing the operations on its own but there are several internal operations at the back end which are taking place produce the output this kind of machine are called as automatas in theory of computations we are going to study computations computations are the task that can be done by calculator or computer we are also going to mathematically model a computer machine and study the theory about it its capabilities problems and the limitations of these machines it is mainly about what kind of things a machine can compute how fast it can be computed and how much space of memory is required to do so consider an example of designing a machine or a system that accepts the string ending with a how human can solve this problem simple human will consider a string go to the last character of the string and check if it is it matches with a and it will say the string is in the given format else it is not in the given format so can a machine be designed for this purpose yes can design the machine by considering the same string again going to the last character of the string and comparing it with capital a small a if it is equal to small a then it accepts it and if it is not equals to a then it rejects it so this machine can be designed in simple way now consider another example to design a machine that accepts a valid c code so is it possible to solve this problem yes simple just convert the c code into binary and then compare the binary with the valid set of inputs if it is equal then we say that is a valid c code so is there any machine to do so have you studied any machine do you know any machine that can solve this problem yes obviously it is a compiler here a c compiler when you give a input in a c language to a c compiler it basically converts it to a binary c code and now this binary c code can be used for comparing and checking whether the c code is valid or not now this comes to a point that whenever we are going to whatever we are going to study in this subject is going to be used while designing something called as compilers now consider another example so to design a system or a machine that accepts valid c code and never goes into infinite loop so 
we can design to accept valid C code, but we are not sure whether the code will go on executing till infinity or not. Right. So this problem is not cannot be solved, or this is non-solvable problems. So in this subject, we are going to deal with certain kinds of problems that are solvable and certain other kinds of problem that comes under the unsolvable category. So in this course, we are we will study several abstract machines or model of computations that are defined mathematically, and some of them are as powerful as real computer system here we are going to design machines that get inputs then process it and produces the output as yes or no that is they accept the input string or they reject it thus each machine that we will study over here accept certain set of languages called as formal languages these languages are used to encode the computational problems and express general model of computation. Tom Chomsky thus divided these languages and machines into four categories as the simplest form of language is the finite is the regular language that represents that is represented by finite state machines FSM. The next higher level of languages are the context free languages which are represented by the abstract machine known as push down automata which is a bit complex as compared to finite state machines the next level is the context sensitive languages that uh, and the machine format that is used to represent these languages is the linear bounded automata the last level of these uh, languages are the recursively enumerable languages which are represented by using Turing machines. These are the highest level of formal languages that are there. And anything which comes beyond this is called as undecidable or any problem that cannot be represented by using maximum Turing machine, then they are unsolvable problems or undecidable problems. These languages are also known as type 3 language that is regular language is also known as type 3 language context free language are also known as type 2 language context sensitive languages are also known as type 1 language and recursively enumerable language are also known as type 0 language so in this course we are going to study all these language we are going to design all these machines and we'll see the peculiarities of all these machines in detail. Thank you.